Hello everyone, welcome back again on Informatica MDM quiz. In today's quiz we are going to see some more interesting quiz questions and its answers. So are you guys ready? So let's start today's quiz. Very first question in today's quiz is which statement best describes Informatica data control? And the options are it manages bad jobs. It controls data quality. It is another name for Informatica data quality that is IDQ adapter. It provides for database integrity. And the last option Informatica data controls enable certain IDD functionality to embedded in other to be embedded in other applications so choose your option I think you got the correct answer and the correct answer is Informatica data controls enable certain IDD functionality to be embedded in other applications so Informatica data controls and Informatica data quality that is IDQ adapter are totally different they are not same that is the basic line I mean, that is the basic understanding we'll get from this question next question we can generate tokens after immediate data load or run separate tokenization job to generate the tokens so can we generate tokens immediately after data load or do we need to run a tokenization job separately or do we have option to run se tokenization separately this is true statement or this is false statement I'm sure you got the correct answer the correct answer is yes we can generate the tokens immediately after the data load or we can run the tokenization job separately next question in our today's quiz which statements are true regarding the validation rules the first option validation rules are executed during the load process downgrade percentage are cumulative referential integrity is one of the validation rule type all statements are correct this is a little bit a tricky question so choose your options wisely I hope you choose the correct answer the correct answer is validation rules are executed during the load job referential integrity is one of the validation rule type the downgrade percentage are not cumulative and the the fourth option is not correct because the option B is not considered as a correct answer is it mandatory to keep IDD user exit name as user exit implementation dot jar it is true that we need to make it mandatory or it is false we no need to make such a mandatory on user exit name the correct answer is true it is mandatory to we have to keep this name to the user exit otherwise you will not able to deploy IDD user exit next question which statements are part of MDM data modeling so this is very important because data modeling is a basic concept before going to implement any configuration in MDM hub so the first option is classical logical data modeling so that means MDM data modeling is classical logical data modeling MDM data modeling is object oriented design MDM data modeling is a product performance consideration and guidelines MDM data modeling is structured system analysis I hope you got the all the options and the last option is MDM data modeling 
has common patterns and practitioner techniques. So these are the five options we have. Choose your options. The correct options are classical. Uh, the MDM data model modeling is classical logic data modeling. It uh, considers the performance and the guidelines. The, it shows the common patterns and practitioner techniques. MDM data modeling is not object oriented design and it is not structured system analysis. Next question, which load job can be run in parallel? Party table, assume that it is a party data model, uh, party table, party phone table, party address table, party electronic address table. And the correct answer are, we can run party phone table, party address table, party electronic address table. We cannot run party table in parallel with any other table because party will be the parent table. So we can run the child tables in parallel, but parent table has to run before the child table. Next question, which statements are true regarding the external match process? It loads the data from the input table into a base object. It stored the result in match table associated with the base object. It can process both fuzzy match and exact match rules. It is executed as a patch job only. I hope you got the options. Choose your correct answer for the external match process. The correct answer is it can process both fuzzy match and exact match rule. It is extended as a bad job only. The other option such as it loads the data to the input table into the base object that is not correct. It is a match job so there is no loading. It stores the result in the match table associated with the base object. No, the, the base object match table will be used for the regular matching match process and not for the external match process. External match process has its a specific output match table where this match results will be stored. Tokenization process generates tokens for both fuzzy and exact base object. So read questions carefully. Is it true or is it false? The correct answer is false. The reason is we know that the base, the fuzzy and exact base object can be declared at the match and merge setup level. So if your all the match columns and match rules are exact, then that table will be treated or will be treated as an exact exact base object table. If one of the match rule and match column is fuzzy, then such base object table is a, a treated as a fuzzy. So the question here is tokenization process can generate tokens for the both fuzzy as well as exact base object. Tokenization process only generates the tokens for the fuzzy base object table and not for the exact base object table because it is exact. It is going to match exactly. No need to generate tokens. Which statement best describes a match batch? It is a set of match record. All records have been tokenized. All records with the consolidation indicator set to 4. A subset of base object records with consolidation indicator set to 4. Interesting question. So choose your options wisely. The last option we have the all records with consolidation indicator set to 2. And the correct answer is a set of match record. So a set of match record is the correct answer for match batch. Rest of the are very close to match batch, but those are not appropriately described in the match batch. So these are the questions for today's quiz. I hope you liked the today's quiz. If you want some more quiz question, I'm definitely more than happy to prepare the quiz for you guys. Um, if you like, then definitely uh, hit the like button. Also, you can subscribe my channel for more interesting updates. 
Thank you again and have a nice time.